You are welcome to the Guru Perspective on this story of uh, oil theft in Nigeria. This is part two of the first episode. Please listen attentively. Of recent, and a, a top official of the NNPC Limited, I'm talking of recent, I'm talking of a week ago, a top official of NNPC went to the National Assembly and he told them that with 5 million, with 5 million naira in your pocket, you can smuggle as many as many tankers as you want of lady petroleum outside Nigeria. And he said, they go, in fact, he revealed to us, Cameroon, two years ago, the refinery there got burned. Cameroon never made a attempt at all to repair it because they rely on Nigeria petroleum product. That is, they, they rely on our PMS petroleum. Because they smuggle it and give to them. He mentioned the Niger Republic, he mentioned Mali, he mentioned other countries around us that it is our petrol they depend upon. And he revealed that yet we have customs at the borders. He said, we have customs, but I don't know. He said, but we have very, very porous border. He, this, this officer of NLPC is the chief accounting financial officer of NLPC. He represented the group managing director of NLPC at the National Assembly. And he revealed this, what we have. Now, the documents of NLPC at the National Assembly for purposes of budget, the 2023 budget, let me review something. Who is the document revealed? I mean, the group never created this. But it is extracted from documents of NLPC at the National Assembly. One, the NLPC now admitted that Nigeria consumption of fuel per day is 60 million liters. That itself is a fallacy because Nigeria consumption were calculated and accounted for by experts, private operators experts. It will consume between 300 to 400 million uh, liters per day. But then NPC now told us that it is 60, 60 million liters per day we spend. Okay, if we consume 60 million liters per day, that is what we consume, that is what your book has said, that is what we will take because you are the official representative. Then the NPC books, why properly scrutinized at the National Assembly, now reveal that every day they, 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 they release 98 million liters to the supplier to supply round for to a people that their total consumption rate per day is 60 million liters. Please, just wait a moment. Let us do the calculation. You know that your people consume 60 million per day. Why therefore giving 68 million, uh, 98 million per day? Meaning, apart from your people consumption, which you have overloaded, of course, you now added 38 million liters every day. You know, each tanker will have load for 1 million liters of fuel. You will get about 30, you get about 30, uh, 30, yes, 30. 30 tankers will load 1 million liters because a tanker has a load of 33,000 liters of fuel. Then, meaning, the 38 million liter that is extra pushing to the people, to the people by NLPC, you will need the total of 1,140 tankers. 1,140 tankers to load that. And this is what they take across to the borders, which the NLPC official identified that if you have your 5 million, just 5 million, you can take as many tankers across Nigeria borders to all the countries bordering us. This is the fact. And what is, the, what is this meant for? Meaning, PMS is being smuggled. It is a smuggling item. Crude is being stolen. The crude, we have identified a point. The PMS, which is being smuggled, let us give it a benchmark now. Why did the NPC now increase from what they themselves identify as total consumption? to the extra 38 million. It is one for the purposes of calculating the so-called subsidy. It is for that reason that our subsidy now benchmark at 6.7 trillion naira. That is number one. Number two, 
the extra that the NPC is pumping out, they know why the money it, it's well known to them why they are pumping it out. And I will tell you, the purpose is for the smugglers to see fair to take away after our so-called 60 million liter production. So the one that is taking away to Cameroon, to Mali, to Niger, to uh, 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 all these countries around us, it is who now finance or who now give them the product? It is NNPC. So therefore, who is the number one smuggler? NNPC is the originating origin smuggler, number one. And who assists NNPC? Secondly, NNPC is being assisted by the custom, the Nigeria Customs Services. And these have been mentioned by every other one. These are the tips. These are the seed, the crew, those are the tips. And the smuggler said, these are the smugglers. Then President Muhammad Buhari has made this. Is he able to arrest them? Is he able to prosecute them? Is he able to fight corruption so that corruption will not eat kill Nigeria? Unfortunately, it is now looking that under the wash of President Muhammad Buhari, corruption has killed Nigeria. Where do we go from here? We do this and